Hello nieces and nieces, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista and over here we do mainly things fragrances whether it's body or home and today we are here to do fragrances I wore this week. So if you're interested in hearing about the fragrances and or fragrance combinations, please stay tuned. These are my fragrances or fragrance combinations that I wore the week of October 22nd, starting on Sunday and ending on Saturday. So for starters on Sunday, Sunday was an errand run type of day. I think this was the day, was it Sunday? I think this was the day that I was chasing down that Tree Hut glow set, I want to say. So um, I um, just did some little running around and it was a very simple laid back type of day. So I started off with Sea Island Shore and this is a fragrance from Bath and Body Works. So this fragrance has fragrance notes of clean cotton, orange blossom, blue freesia and ocean musk. This is in my top five of favorite Bath and Body Works fragrance. This is a very clean, crisp, um, airy, aquatic, almost like laundry detergent type of fragrance. And it is year round. It has such a nostalgia to it. I think one of my aunt bought me my first Bath and Body Works set when I was like in sixth grade. It wasn't called this. It was called, um, it wasn't called Sea Island Shore. It was called Cotton Blossom, I believe is what it was called. So I paired the Sea Island Shore with the warm cotton and the light is drowning this out, but I'll put a picture there. Um, the warm cotton by Clean Reserve. And this is the um, Reserve blend. It has aldehydic notes in it. It has some aquatic notes. It has cotton. It has some green notes and it has a musk in it. And it also has like um, a mint note in it that I do pick up on, but this is also that type of cotton laundry detergent type of fragrance. This is a really good fragrance. I think that this is probably one of Clean Reserve's most popular fragrance. And I really enjoy this fragrance. Um, I enjoy it because it just gives you that clean, airy scent, but it is also one of the fragrances that I like to wear when I am having some little sinus issues. But I'll link a video um, above because I did do some content on um, sinus safe fragrances that I wear when my sinuses are acting up really bad. So that was my fragrance for Sunday. So moving on into Monday. Monday, I started off with um, something from Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Care um, line. And this is the Sandalwood and Vanilla. This is one of my favorite um, aromatherapy care items. I have probably about two, no more than three that I really, really like. But with aromatherapy care is normally what it says. So this is vanilla and sandalwood. So I used the body cream. Then I went in with this mist, but I started with the mist first. So um, this is one of those almost kind of like a dry mist or dry oil. You can apply this as soon as you get out of the shower. So I did do that. And then I went in with the cream and then I went back over myself with the mist again and this is also a pillow spray and um, I used those items and then I topped it off with Ingenious Ginger by um, Goldfield and Banks and this is their latest fragrance. well I think they just released another one but this is the one that came out um, during the summer and it is a sandalwood forward fragrance but it starts off um, very spicy and um cloying because it has like this ginger note in it and it has some bergamot and lemon so the old citrus notes with that ginger note it makes it very cloying but what i do like about this fragrance is when it dries down the sandalwood in here it is so pretty you guys this wasn't even on my radar 
Um, Lucky Sense had sent me out a sample vial of it, and I was playing around with some things, and I remember applying this and the dry down on it. It was just so good. So I went ahead and ordered one, but um, this is a beautiful fragrance. It does have some um, white floral notes along with some rosy notes, but ultimately when the dry down happens, it's more of a musky, woody type of sandalwood note. So you do get those musky notes like cashmere in it as well and musk. And um, I think this fragrance has a little patchouli in it because it has a deep woodiness to it as well. But it's a nice fragrance, very nice. Um, I don't like it when I initially apply it, but the dry down of it, it is so nice. So again, that was my fragrance cocktail for monday so moving on into tuesday i was feeling like a bossy pretty girl so i paired two heavy hitting fragrances together so i started off with of course baccarat rouge the body cream and baccarat rouge you know it is well known for the saffron note that is in here and it has like this cedar wood note in it and baccarat hands down i'm sorry it is what it is i know it is the most duplicated fragrances in the community but it's just that good it's really good and this cream is very strong this is definitely a cream if you want to do some layering all you need is the cream you don't necessarily have to use the fragrance but i use the cream instead of the fragrance so after showering i moisturized my entire body with this cream and i did go in really heavy in the pus points then I applied my fragrance before putting on my clothes and after putting on my clothes. And the fragrance that I paired it with is Cambridge Club by Zhirzhov's The JTC Collection. Now, you know, the JTC Collection, it is a part of a private like blend. And there are no fragrance notes on Zhirzhov. But according to Fragantica, um, some of the fragrance notes that they have listed in this fragrance i do pick up some of those notes so this has notes of like turkish rose and it has like this really beautiful caramel note in it as well this fragrance it does put you in the mind of mason francis kirk john's gentle fluidity gold so this is a more spicier gentle fluidity gold and i love to pair gentle fluidity gold with baccarat rouge especially the extract version but this paired so well together i got so many compliments it lasted all day and it's just a beautiful combination and stay tuned because i am going to share some of my favorite heavy hitting um, fragrance combinations and basically I'm just going to share all the niche or very popular fragrances that people don't well some people do pair them but these are fragrances that some may think that you don't even have to pair and I do agree with some of them but just pairing them and mixing them with the correct corresponding heavy hitter it just takes your fragrance to a whole nother level so that's exactly what this did and it was so nice together all right so wednesday hump day for many of us and um i started off with something that is at bath and body works now i recently picked this up not too long ago this is the fresh vanilla blossoms and it comes in another form i think it's called bourbon vanilla but um i do like this one a little bit better this one has um suede petals soft sandalwood and vanilla bean this is more this is not like a cakey vanilla note it's not it's it's not gourmand in my opinion it has this airy suedeness or mossiness to it and um it's good the sandalwood mixed with the vanilla is different from that aromatherapy care that i showed you earlier because i do think that this suede it plays in on giving you that airy note woody but airy note so it's not at all this totally different so a different type of vanilla and sandalwood but um 
it's pretty i really like this fragrance and so much so till i went and got it in the body cream so the fragrance that i paired that with is the latest from ysl and this is leave la absolute plantain these names they just get so long but this is leave la absolute plantain this is the latest one from the leave line this is number four the fourth flanker and it definitely has that leave fragrance dna but i would say that this is more unisex i don't know if it's listed to be a unisex fragrance but the aldehyde notes that are in here it definitely gives it more of an airy unisex type of fragrance you still get the orange blossom and the lavender as well as the honey note but it is more airy it has an airier effect to it it um it, it just smells more balanced in my opinion it's not overly sweet or overly girly but it is definitely um, a beautiful fragrance. I am enjoying it. So I paired that with the um, fresh vanilla blossom. So that was my fragrance cocktail for Wednesday. Now moving on into Thursday, something happened with my sinuses. I think I know what happened. Um, on Wednesday, they just got real agitated and exacerbated because I went to the nail salon and you know, a lot of times those chemicals inside of a salon, they can aggravate you. And that um, evening I started getting a post nasal drip and I just wasn't feeling really good. So I got up that next morning and I wasn't feeling good, but I pushed myself. So just to keep it safe, I did um, wear the warm cotton again and I only wore this, but I did use my Coco Shea oil. And um, I tend to like to really use that oil because if I'm going in lightly with the fragrance, that oil right after a shower and putting that oil and massaging that oil in your skin when your skin is still relatively damp, it really does help the performance and the longevity of your fragrance. So Thursday was not one of my best days. So that was my fragrance for the day, the warm cotton by Clean Reserve. All right, so Friday, I was in the mood for something sweet, but I still wanted it to have like that going into fall edge. So I started off with the Fall in Bloom from Bath and Body Works. This is the original and old packaging. It is now out in the Facet Collection, I believe. But this fragrance has notes of Juicy Plum, wild blooms and velvet moss this fragrance does have a very strong mossy note in it so it is safe to wear this fragrance during the fall and i really like this fragrance more so during the fall and winter than i do in the summer months i do think that it could be a year-round scent but having that mossy note it really does give it that good balance when it is cooler. So I um, use these products and then I went in with something that has been said to be that to be a dupe for. So this is supposed to be a dupe for this. And this is Burberry Her, the one in the pink. Well, it's clear, but it has the pink cap on it. And you know, this is supposed to be a sweet strawberry fragrance and it does have a very high strawberry note in it and some other fruits it has some wild berries some cherries it has a lemon note it does have violet i definitely can smell that violet and it has an oak moss note i definitely pick up that oak moss note and a must note so this is a really pretty fragrance i this was never on my radar i just so happened to really fall for this really really end up liking this and i did get backups of this and just being in the fragrance community and seeing a lot of content creators share and say that the burberry her is a dupe for that so i had to add it to my collection so that was my fragrance cocktail for friday right, so my fragrance cocktail for saturday saturday was going to be one of those days where i was going to be out and about um doing a lot of things um husband and i so i was out for 
the entire day. I think we left home at like eight in the morning. Well, no, it's like seven thirty, and we didn't get back home until almost nine o'clock that night. So I knew it was one of those days that I had to put on something that was going to really stick with me. But at the same time, I was in my skim set, you know, with my um, tennis shoes on. Just it was one of those type of days, and I wanted to have. The fragrance to kind of like match it but i need the frag i needed the fragrance to be with me and project so what i did i started off with the Vallea by parfums de marley and i tell you whenever i talk about this this is musk opulence it is my top musk this fragrance is so good it has a bergamot note in it it has like this white peach it has this subtle fruitiness to it and it's woody and it's musky. It has um, some vetiver. It has my new favorite. It has Akigali wood and it has a musk note in it. So this is a fragrance that you wear. It is going to stick with you all day. It's just that good. Um, I think this is probably going to be a for life fragrance for me. So when I make it through this bottle, I'm almost sure I'll replenish it. But I did want to add a little sweet touch to it. So what I did was I went in with one of its counterparts. And this is the um, Delina La Rose. So this is more of an airy, aquatic, rosy type of fragrance. It's a very mild version of the original Delina. But it does have that rosy sweetness to it. It has lychee. It has a pear note in it. Turkish Rose, of course, has the soft musk and the vetiver. So this was like a musky, rosy fragrance, and it was well. It did so well. Um, I could smell it from the time that I left home to the time that I returned. So this was a perfect combination, and it was just what I needed for that particular day. So you guys, those are my fragrance combinations for this week. If you have any questions about the combinations that I shared with you, or if you have any comments or recommendations that you would like to share with me, please leave those in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you would. Tell a family member that's into fragrance. Um, tell a friend that's into fragrance. Send them over so they can subscribe. And maybe they'll find out some things that they enjoy and we can just continue to vibe with each other. I want to thank you guys so very much for always showing back up and supporting me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And do not forget, you, yes, you, you are great.